G'day ice cream lovers, Steve Christensen's my name, self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. Look, we're still here at the ICA Ice Cream Expo at Harrogate in the UK. One of the reasons I love coming over here, they always invite me to judge, or be one of the judges, I should say, on the champion of champions. Now, just a little bit of an overview of this competition and the segments. So there's a lot happening here. It doesn't matter where you are in the, in the country, what sort of products you're using, there's a, there's a category for you. Category one, soft serve. So typically, again, we've spoken about the mobilers or the ice cream vans. If you're an ice cream van, then you get to submit your soft serve for judging. There's a category for vanilla ice cream, judged on the quality of your ice cream products. Then there's a dairy uh, 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 category as well for vanilla. So the vanilla could be soft serve, it could be, but the dairy is the uh, basically your rich, heavy cream ice creams. You've got supply house strawberry. So if you're in a supplier and you're manufacturing ice cream for retail sale, you can submit one that only this year has to be strawberry. There is a segment for black currant sorbet. I really like these ideas where everybody around the country is making one flavor and they're judged on that, black currant sorbet. We've got our alternative category. If you are vegan, if you're goat's milk, if you're a bit of an alternative uh, dairy producer. There's also a newcomers category. If you are new to the industry, you are submitting your products up against other newcomers in the industry. I think that's great. Last is chocolate. So any type of chocolate can be submitted. And then all of those go into the pot and you pick the champion of champions. So the top achievers in each of those categories all go up against each other to be the champion of champions. That's gonna be judged tonight at the uh, ice cream ball, I call it. I don't think it's called that, but I like to call it the ice cream ball. Let's talk a little bit about how it's judged and let's pop over to the judging table. Okay, so each of the judges sit at this desk. Now, it's really only this desk now because that's the champion of champions this afternoon. Judges uh, from all over the industry, makers, manufacturers, producers, uh, are asked to be judges for different categories. Now, this is the old scorecard, but I think it's worth mentioning and looking at some of the categories here that people are judged on. And remember this when you're going through the process of making your own ice cream. It's judged on appearance. How does the product look? Remember that our ice cream products are supposed to look as good as they taste. They're almost like a marketing uh, piece in and of themselves. Second is texture and body. So 10 points for appearance. 20 points for texture and body. That's mouth feel. Is it buttering out? Is it icy? Um, the kind of rubbing of the ice cream against the top of your mouth with your tongue to kind of see what sort of texture there is. 20 points. And 70 points is palatability and flavor. I don't mind saying flavor with an O-U-R. Queen's English, thank you very much. Chaw makes up 100 points. So what uh, they use are these handy dandy tablets. It used to be this system uh, but they've got a really good and efficient tablet system, so you're putting the score down here. Again, each pot is put in front of you. You take one of these spoons, have a little taste. Between them, you're having a little bit of lime cordial, just as a bit of a palate cleanser. I love a bit of lime cordial. And then you go through the process of judging. There are some suggested comments here. And again, I think it's a good idea to have a look at them, just to give you an idea of what not only this ice cream is being judged on, but also what your ice cream is being judged on uh, in your store. So is your ice cream a good color, a poor color? Is it too much color? Are the inclusions good? Are there not enough inclusions? Is it a good texture? Is it icy, too, over, too much overrun or very airy? Needs more body, poor balance with inclusions? And then finally on the palatability and, uh, pal palatability and flavor, you're talking about granular or bitter tastes, false tastes, uh, greasy aftertaste, that kind of thing. Again, you may not be putting ice cream in any of these competitions, but again, I think we should all be striving to make sure that we've got top quality ice cream because really our customers vote with their wallets. So we are going to uh, sit down with the judges in a little bit, judge the champion of champions. We're going to show you tonight who was announced the champion of champions and hopefully get a chance to have a little bit of a chit chat with them to see what uh, these awards mean to these award winners.
church here. Hopefully they won't beat us on Sunday. It's Front Touch Dream. <laughs> Julia, mate, big night last night. Look at this hardware. You can open up your own hardware shop with all of this uh, prizes. Yeah, we're extremely proud of the achievement last night. Uh, to become British champions, overall champions, was an amazing achievement. Absolutely. Now, what, what are the cups that you have here? Because this is the champion of champions, which was... It was uh, a pistachio crunch ice cream that actually won the champion of champions. We were fortunate enough to have won the Silver Challenge Cup as well, first prize for the best ice cream class in the competition as well. Mate, you're, you sound like a very humble man, and yet you're the big winner here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, we've got a really great team back at the factory, and uh, they put a lot of hard work into it. And where is the factory? Uh, we're based uh, just outside Swansea in Wales. Okay. Uh, so we've travelled a long way to come up here today, <laughs> uh, but it's been worth it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll say it has been. Now, what does it take? What are some of the principles that it takes to make a, a national champion ice cream? Do you think? I think you've just got to use the best ingredients. Uh, you've got to have a lot of passion, a lot of belief trust in the process that you do uh, and don't get uh, disappointed if it doesn't happen on the first occasion. Mm. We've been trying over a number of years and to finally reach this accolade uh, is the ultimate really as an ice cream man. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we just put it down to good teamwork uh, and belief that we can make the best ice cream. Team. Absolutely. It was a great ice cream. I was one of the judges in the Champion of Champions. The texture, it was a beautiful blend of good traditional pistachio but it had that little bit of crunch in there it kind of had it all i'm not going to say i knew from the first bite it was going to be the champion but it was very very good yeah we tried to be very innovative um, in terms of the use of the flavors that we now do so we, we're looking at all the trends that are happening all the time and we're trying to add value yeah. um, so we try to be a little bit different with what we enter uh, and hope, obviously, that the judges will go for it. And you mentioned you attended one of my seminars a couple of years ago, and that probably had a little bit to yeah, do with it. Of course, very much so. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, the truth being, when I knew you were coming back over again, I was pretty excited uh, because you did it, you were inspiring that day. I mean, we, we were thinking at that time of opening up a gelateria because we primarily manufacture it, mm -hmm. but we actually did within the last year. Uh, so now we can be very innovative, you know, we get instant feedback on mm. our flavours. And it's just nice from being a manufacturing company to actually having, you know, instant customer feedback. Right, absolutely. Um, so yeah, so I'm looking forward to catching up with you later to have a chat to see if we can get any more ideas from you. Where are we going to find information on your business? Website? Uh, we're on the website. Uh, we're also on Instagram, mm -hmm. Twitter um, and Facebook. Um, so we are promoting heavily on that now with our new gelateria. Yeah, so. Mate, you'll be promoting heavily, all right? Have a look at this. You'll be, <laughs> able to, you'll be able to hold it above your head like a Wimbledon champion. Well, mate, uh, wonderful to talk to you. Uh, congratulations. It was just such a great vibe last night. Yes. And uh, your table just kind of, the whole place <laughs> erupted when, when yeah, everyone yeah. got a prize. So I'll put a link uh, to Frank's ice cream down below in the comments. And, mate, for a final send-off, here at the uh, ICA Expo. Do you want to hit us with a keep on scooping, we'll see you next time. Keep on scooping, we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>